Oh, Riff Raff there from the new ACDC album, live of course. And if you want blood, you got it. It's a very good evening. Welcome to Edinburgh and welcome to Edinburgh Rock to Bon Scott of ACDC, <laughs> Lee Vocals. Good evening. How you doing, Bon? Pleasure to be here. It's, it's been uh, a few years now I've been trying to get you on this program, uh, live on there, yeah. because... Uh, I, w I very much enjoyed the, the concert tonight. I only managed to catch Thank about you. three quarters of an hour of it before I actually came down here to, to start the show. But it's a great pleasure to have you on the programme tonight. Let's, t let's talk a little bit about the, the brand new album now, the, the, the live album. Did you feel that this was just the right moment to, to release a uh, set of live tracks? Yeah, well, like, we sort of played around Australia for like two and a half years. And then we played England for like two years. America for a year, like, and uh, the live album sort of culminates mm. that whole spectrum of, of t like four years of time, like you know. Yeah. So now uh, uh, we feel now that after after this album's out, we, we can start afresh, like you know, uh -huh. and and treat the whole world as like one audience. Right. Like uh, in the past, we've had like a an album out in Australia. An album out in Europe, one in England, one in America, like at different times, you know. So we've had nothing sort of, um, which is, which has sort of been at like a, at, at the same time, you know. Mm. So now we can sort of start off and treat the world as a whole, rather than country by country, you know. Yeah, I see. It must make it actually a lot more harder work when when you do it, you know, bit by bit and. Uh you know, releasing one in Europe and then the States and everything and doing it differently. But I know, we just sort of, you know, take it as it comes, I mm. How did you actually pick the particular tracks to go on this album? Because it must have been difficult. <laughs> so many of your tracks are, are so yeah. popular, you know? Uh, we, we recorded about five, um, about five concerts. Glasgow, London, uh, San Antonio, New York City and uh, somewhere else, Hollywood, somewhere like that. Mm. And we just picked out the best of what was going on, you know. Right. And it turned out that the, um, I think the whole the whole album is basically um, Glasgow. The, yeah. That, that was where the best sound came from, like you know. How about the audience response? I. Um, Did that have a lot <laughs> to do with it too? I, well, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Glasgow. Mm. I, it's not Glasgow, at least it was Scotland, though, because that, that's where the best <laughs> audience response comes from. You've got to say that, but I'll believe you. I don't have to say that. nothing because, uh, <laughs> you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that that's where it comes from, like, it was just, uh, I'm pretty sure the whole thing was Glasgow. All right. Well, there's there's one particular type, that one we just played, Riff Raff, is one of my favourites from the, the new album, but there's one that isn't included on that that's certainly a favourite of mine. I was glad that you played it in the first half hour tonight. One of my favourites from the album Pirates, Sin City. Oh, up to my neck and you in Sin City, and both from the album Pirates, and in fact, born from ACDC is in the studio live tonight on Edinburgh Rock. Uh, that, that particular track there, uh, not exactly one of the most romantic songs ever written, you must agree. I think it was <laughs> darling. <laughs> I mean, that, that's my most um, ardent love song. Is it? You know, it is, yeah, because it, that, that was written for a woman that I loved very dearly. And I still do. <laughs> I mean that I'm not so far off an hour as I used to be. Mm. Well, there's one there's one thing about the, the music and the lyrics and the whole ACDC image is is the aggressive, uh, the aggressiveness and the as uh, one of your albums says, high voltage rock and roll. You know, that's what the whole thing's about, really, isn't it? But how did it actually evolve that way? I mean, um, because there are there, I don't really think there's another band actually that that has this this aggressive <laughs> aggressiveness coming across in the music the way it used to in fact with, with some bands that lost it. frustration on the part of Angus and Malcolm with the music and a definite frustration on my behalf as, as a dare I say it, a lyricist like him mm. uh, I just had all these things that I, I wanted to say and in bands I've been with in the past um, it wasn't accepted like you know mm. I, I couldn't say like you know, up to my neck in you, which is you know quite inoffensive and of course, like you know, it just depends on your frame of mind as to how you take the whole thing, like you know. Right. But, but to me, it's just that uh, you know, to me that's um, a compliment, you know. Right. And but uh, you know, a, a lot of people don't take it like that. 
like, but it's like the music. Lots of people don't like the music because it's just too rough, I guess. Yeah. 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 But then you just, oh, you, if anybody walked into the audience tonight, they would have been proved totally wrong, wouldn't they? You well, know, looking at the audience there. I, I, I don't think there was a person there tonight that uh, that didn't understand what we were saying or doing, like you know. Hmm. One one question I must ask you actually. Uh, can you tell us anything about Rosie? About Rosie? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, she's oh, sh quite... Shouldn't you? <laughs> well, I should, yeah, because uh, Rosie's become quite famous because of that song. Like, she's um, just a woman I knew back in Australia. And, and she was like, I tell the truth here, 19 stone, 12 pound, red curly hair and freckles. <laughs> <laughs> and very, very lusty. Really? I think yeah. that kind of sums it up, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Do you want to know more? <laughs> it's all right. I think the song explains the rest. Uh, immortalised at last. <laughs> it's a whole lot of Rosie. And um, from the album, If You Want Blood, you got it. Yeah, well, what were we talking about there? I'm so involved in all the you music. You can even hear, here, um, there's a band of... I found a friend of mine called Brody here in Edinburgh hmm. who played that song just as well, you know. Really? And, and you've got to hear that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not together anymore, actually. Yeah, they are, yeah. As, as a... As I've, got, I've got the singer sitting next to me right here, Tom, still, you know, still, Tom oh. Davidson, yeah. I thought, I thought Brody had, had split up. Somebody told me they were getting back together. Well, they, they split up... Uh, come, in, come in a bit, Tom. Come in, come in, Tom. Come in and join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get our friendship together here. All right. Uh, talking of Brody, um, Brody split up about January of this year. Yeah, that's and, what I uh, heard. The lead guitarist that was with us at the time um, is no longer with us now. Mm. And we went off the road for about two and a half to three months, and yeah. we started doing gigs again. I think we've done about five. Ah. And uh, well, that's where I'm a little bit behind the time. Can I mention a particular gig? Uh, well, you're very, very subtle about it, yes. Uh, well, it's somewhere in Curry and it's a hotel. Okay. Who's that? And, <laughs> and it's called the Glenburn. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, on Sunday. Yeah, and you'd be so playing... we're back on the road, yeah, we're very definitely back oh, on the road. Oh, that's good to hear. We'll need to get together and have a uh, chat about new that. New material, time. incidentally. New material? Yes, uh-huh. Right. original material. Well, look forward to it. Thank you. Yeah, but yeah, you well, thank you for that, because... Uh, oh, that's all right. Yeah. I've got to get my, you know, my friends, I love my friends, you know. Okay. And, uh... Where, where actually, where are you based at the moment, now? Us? Yeah. The world. As a band. In the world. Yeah. You, yeah, in the world. Are you are you around <laughs> so much? We don't, we're not anywhere. Like we, we spent, um, uh, since uh, since March, we spent a month in England. I mean, in Britain. I mean, in England. I beg your pardon. That's all right. We'll forget you. <laughs> and then uh, 16 weeks in America. Uh -huh. And uh, two two weeks in uh, in Europe, you know. Between Switzerland and France and Belgium and Germany, and then that, you know now back here for uh, for, for two more weeks. Where, where have you found the best atmosphere, studio-wise, to record your albums? Oh well, where would you really, like to really go in the recorded, like studio-wise, in, in Australia. Hmm. Back with the, you know, George Young and Harry Vander back in Albert Studios in Australia, in, in Sydney, you know. Yeah. Uh, that to us is the most you know, 